One question we often hear about our system is, well, if it works so well, why not just get me the clients first and I'll pay later? Reasonable question. What you're looking for there does exist out in the world and it's the agency model. There's loads of companies that do this. They'll run the ads for you. They'll give you fresh leads daily. They'll give you fancy reports and a call with your account manager to discuss the fancy reports. It sounds great. So what's the problem with it? Well, the good ones charge between three and 10,000 pounds per month. And it's still on you to coach those clients at the end of the day. And when you stop coaching them, they will withdraw the ads from your account. They'll block off all your funnels and you've got nothing. So you don't have a business to run once you stop paying them. So you pay your money, you take your choice essentially. But the problem that we have with this is not so much that agencies don't work or whatever. You know, if you, if you want to spend that kind of money and do it, like they'll get you leads and it's on you. The problem is the kind of mindset that asks this question is usually someone who doesn't want to run their business. Basically, they feel that maybe they're above speaking to leads or that they shouldn't have to be running ads or anything. And, and at the end of the day, like, is running a business right for you? If that's the case, if you don't want to deal with any of the operations and the marketing and the sales, then you might be better off just joining someone else's team and just working as a coach under them. There are two like types of agency that we've looked into in the past. Both of them basically run the marketing for you, get the leads for you. And some of them will like make the sales for you. There are some that use their own money to run the ads. And that's kind of what people are asking for when they say like, why don't you guys just, you know, work with me for free, help me get the clients, then you can pay off, the, get paid off the back of it. The stipulation for companies who use their own ad spend to run your ads is that you have to have a proven, tested, converting funnel and business. So it's the same as, you know, when people sit in like Dragon's Den and they have this great idea and all the dragons get really excited about it. But the reason they don't invest in the business is not the idea, it's the person. It's like, I know this will work in theory with the right team in place, with the right operator in place, this idea would work. What I doubt is that you're the person to take this forward. And really that's like, what, what this person is saying is, I kind of want someone else to do it all for me. I want them to think of the ideas, think of the niche, think of the marketing message, coach the clients. I want the outcome, but I want none of the cost. The other agencies that will do the same thing, so they'll run ads for you and kind of run the marketing for you. They all get paid up front and they get paid handsomely up front. And it's, there's a retainer. And those are the ones that you're sp speaking about. So this kind of magic scenario where someone will just take anyone off the street with no track record, no evidence of work, no evidence of success, and just build a business for them doesn't exist, unfortunately. And well, very because they're, they're taking on all of the risk. And that's why, as you say, they're looking for validation. They have to see that it's working already. And that's why actually, if you yeah. go on most agencies' websites, they will say, we'll work with you and it's a performance-based pay and all that stuff. Requirements for entry, you have to be making 20K a month. Because otherwise, like there's such a big distance between zero and one. And if you're working with anyone between there, <laughs> like you could be onto a, a lemon client as an agency. I think the, like, really, if you think of how many sort of tested and proven business models there are in the world that someone could start, the variance is the person. That's all it is. The variance is the person who has the idea and to do it, to take the risk and to put the work in. And so that, that's really, in a nutshell, to be brutally honest, like why if someone sends us an email like that, we kind of know straight away, they probably don't have the right frame of mind to even make a success of it anyway. Yeah, you can infer a lot about the way that person thinks, the way that person operates their business just from something like that. And, and actually you'd see exactly the same with your fitness clients. The more that somebody wants done for them, the less they're actually willing to do by definition and the less invested they are in turning up and doing the work. You know, it's the kind of client who you will have had that inquires to you and says, oh, I want all, I want custom meal plans. And I want someone basically if they could, and if it didn't seem ridiculous, they would say, I want someone to come and like lift the weights for me. And it's just because they're just half in, they're kind of playing with the idea rather than interested in actually doing it. And I know this sounds really cruel, but it's just, we see thousands of inquiries and quite often we'll speak to people maybe six months apart. And the ones who have that kind of mindset, they haven't moved forward because they want to relinquish any responsibility of doing anything themselves. And sadly, running any online business requires you to turn up and do the work. 
you do have to speak to leads. And if you don't want to speak to leads, ask yourself like, well, once they become a client, does anything magical happen at that point? Like, am I going to be willing to speak to clients? And if not, is coaching the right thing for you? Because coaching is all about engaging in a relationship with your clients. So as Johnny says, there's kind of a couple of mindset blocks that people have with this. Either I don't want to do selling or I don't have faith in my product, which is usually what I don't want to do the selling is really saying. And we can't force people to buy your stuff. That has to be down to you having a good offer. The other thing is I'm above speaking to leads. I'm too important for that, which fine. Like if the other stuff you're doing throughout the day is super high leverage, super high return on investment, then do more of that stuff and sounds like it's working already for you. One of the questions we'll ask as part of the sort of the onboarding process to propane businesses, if someone says something like that, like if it sounds like they've got a lot going on that's going really, really well, I think it's a reasonable question to say, so let's say you have a like the sort of the off the shelf Instagram goal of 10 grand a month, right? Because everything changes to 10 grand a month. Well, this is five figures instead of four. <laughs> Life's perfect. So let's say you've got this goal of 10 grand a month and you make four grand a month on the gym floor and it's all going really, really well and you just don't have the time to devote to an online business that's going to make you the six or even make you the 10. That is a total misallocation of time. So if, if your business is doing really, really well face to face, why would you not invest that time in the face to face business? Well, the only reason you wouldn't is if you don't think the face to face business can scale you to 10 grand, which is ultimately why you're on the call in the first place. It's why I've inquired with this in the first place. If you're stuck by like, I'm above this, I'm too busy, or what else, are, the other things I have going on are too important, then why would you even consider it in the first place? And I think like that's the truth of it is probably you would consider it because the current thing, the current like vehicle you're in isn't doing it for you. It isn't work. It's either taking up too much of your time disproportionately. It has no scale potential. It isn't working. It's declining. In which case, actually what you should be prioritizing is how can I take as many hours away from the gym floor to make sure I have all of the possible available time to work on the online business and start from the absolute beginning. It's the same as a client who comes to you in the gym who wants to get in shape. They're like, I really want to lose weight, but I just haven't got time to go to the gym. What you would probably say to them is, well, you, you probably don't prioritize getting in shape enough. Otherwise you would take the time for other things. So it's a reallocation of like accepting you're at the very beginning, accepting it's going to take time, accepting you're going to have to do some things to build this business that makes 10 grand a month. And then taking that time away from the other things that aren't already ticking those boxes for you. And also, if that's not right for you, if there's not a match between the things that you have to do, the way that you have to show up and the result that you're wanting, then no one's making you be an online coach. You don't have to do it. And I think, you know, if you're like, I want to be an online coach, but I don't want to do X, Y, Z and whatever, and all the things that are involved in online coaching, then I honestly would have a deep think about like, is this actually the thing that you want or are there more suitable jobs and outcomes for what you're looking for? Where do you think this like idea of, I'm just actually just noting down because my 30 minute alarm went off. So I'm just noting down what I'm doing on podcast <laughs> with Yusuf. Do you think this idea of like, I can start a business and have it work and run and meet my income needs and my life needs? Do you think that's the fault of make money online marketing? Because I, I don't remember ever that thought ever crossing my mind when we started propane that like there wouldn't be a lot of work involved in it. Yeah, but it seems really popular these days that that's the sort of the, oh, well, I should just be able to have this like business in a box with nothing from me. It's a good point. Like, I don't mean to blame people who inquire with this kind of entitled mindset because the entitlement has come from make money online marketing as if it's all just handed to you on a plate. And it's just a form of lazy thinking. And I know that we all want to believe that there's like a magic bullet out there. And ironically, we posted this thing with Gary V the other, the other day, where it's like fitness guys should be the best placed people to realize that there's no magic bullet. And they're the ones who have the same thing coming in on their end of people asking, yeah, but what, how many grams of creatine should I, what, what's the best fat loss supplement and people avoiding doing the boring hard work. And they would always say, look, it's progressive overload and calorie deficit over time. It's going to get you into shape. But then when it comes to business, for some reason, those principles go out the window and it's the fault of the marketers who say like, Hey, Lamborghini with none of the downside. Well, I guess how like marketing works by implying it's 
quicker, simpler, faster, less painful than the alternative. I find it surprising that that extends all the way to having to do nothing at all. Because <laughs> I, you, you know, you definitely, I can see why, like our marketing hinges on the idea that most of the stuff that is taught in this space is a very clunky way of doing things, is a very time expensive way of doing things, and there's a quicker way of doing it. But I don't think we ever imply at any point that you'll have to do nothing. So someone must be doing that. Somebody, or like that idea is seeded from somewhere that like I can have this hundred grand a year business that I do nothing in and somebody just gives me the profits because I booked a call once. There's no point in us working with anyone who believes that they have to do nothing. And that's why we have an application process to work with us, because we have to figure out that the expectations are aligned and that you are aware that you're going to have to actually turn up and do some work in this. Because the people who think they will have to do nothing, I just, I guarantee, even if someone gifted them 30 grand for an agency to hand them clients on a plate, they would fail them. Because if they're not willing to speak to leads, they're also not willing to speak to their clients. And those clients will then drop off that might pay for one month and then be like, oh, this was rubbish. And that's not a business. So just even even more than that, like imagine you've built, you've been given this business that's doing 30 grand a month and you ditch everything else you're doing, put your entire life as being reliant on that. And then in a year's time, you've got no idea how it's running, or how it's working. Like is, that sounds like a pretty awful place to be as far as I'm concerned. Like, yeah, clients are in the business, but you don't really understand how. And like, yeah, you're coaching them, but you don't, if you lost clients today, you wouldn't have a process to get more clients back. The next month's performance of the business, you've got no idea is it going to do well or not. Are you going to be able to pay your rent or not? Don't know. Like that sounds pretty stressful to not have any control whatsoever. Yeah, it's a scary thing. You want to be able to build your own distribution. And that's part of the reason maybe why you want to leave the gym, because currently you pay rent to a gym so that you can operate in there with personal trainer written on your back and you've got this flow of leads but are purely dependent on you being in that gym and having that footfall traffic and maybe you want a way to have a bit more control over how many leads you generate and who you work with and how long you work with them and all of that without having to be subject to the constraints of the gym that you're paying rent to and save on the rent and johnny's got a great video on this actually of like split testing imagine you're person a and person b one of them takes the rent that they were going to pay in the gym, works online, invests that into ads, and then plays out the monthly numbers over six and 12 months. And it's pretty cool. So there we go. Yeah. I don't That's know. why the agency model is not our recommendation, but if you're earning 20 grand a month already and you have a validated offer and you want to hand over all the mechanics of your business, go ahead.